Media Ray Vintage. Today's DIY, we're going to show you what we use our old salvage for. If you follow us on Facebook, you recently saw that we did some salvage from a house here in Utah, and these are the old baseboards. We happened to get this desk that's really modern recently from a friend of ours, and it's not our style, and so we're going to take it and give it a farmhouse style using this old salvage, and we're going to sand down the top. Okay, so here's our desk. You can see it's got straight lines. It's got these weird little cutout things here. I'm not really sure what that's for. Um, and then it had a drawer front that broke off, and then this is where the keyboard went. So we're gonna pull out this entire section here because we don't need it. And then we've got this little piece here we'll take off, and then everything else we'll leave as is, and then we'll fit this molding in a crust to cover this up and give it a more farmhouse look. So Zeb is standing for me. You'll notice he's wearing a mask and glasses. We're not really sure what's in the paint. So we're being super careful by wearing a mask and we'll make sure we clean it all up and dispose of it properly. So I'm gonna measure here to know exactly how far to cut. It's 42 inches across, so I'll cut my molding to fit. I'll need two pieces at that length. And then this is 15 and a half, so I'll need two pieces at 15 and a half. Okay guys, we've sanded down the top all the way to the natural wood. We started with like 100 grit and we cut it down and then to smooth it out we used a 220 grit. It's always good to do that so that way you get a nice smooth finish. And then we got rid of all the dust, we used a damp rag to clean it all up and now we're ready to stain. I'm using Min Wax and Dark Walnut and a lint free rag and I'm going to go ahead and just put a nice even coat of this stain on here. This is the first step in a three step process I've done on a lot of my videos. I start with staining and then I do a gray wash with a mixture of chalk paint and water and then I do a white dry brush. And when I'm all done, it'll look like barn wood. So I like to save all my old spaghetti jars, my pickle jars, any kind of jars that I have. And then I use them for things like making gray washes or mixing up milk paint and it's the perfect receptacle, receptacle and I'm not wasting something. So I've got one part chalk paint to ten parts water. I actually mixed up arsenic and parchment because I didn't have a light gray and so I wanted to make it a little lighter. And then I'm just going to shake it up till it's all mixed up evenly and then I'm going to take this wash and apply it directly over my stain. Um, you don't want to wait till your stain is all the way dry. You kind of want the colors to blend. So uh, you can, you can wait till it's all the way dry or you can do it before it's dry. I usually just as soon as I get the stain on, I just apply the gray, gray wash right over the top. So once your gray wash is nice and evenly distributed, the final step is to do a dry brush in a lighter color. I'm using Fairy Chalk Leather and Parchment. To purchase this paint or the paint that I used to make the gray wash, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. Um, and to do a, a dry brush, you want to basically get most of the paint off the brush. So I dip it down into my um, paint here, and I usually, use the, I usually use the lid, and then I get off most of the paint. Once I've got most of the paint off, then I, I usually wipe it against something else. So in this case, I've got my paint pants on, so I'm just going to dry it off. So it's mostly dry with a little bit of paint. And then I'm just going to come over this and lightly go over the whole piece with this dry brush just to give it some strokes of white paint.
It doesn't take very long to do this step. You want it to be random, not done evenly because otherwise it looks intentional. Then once you get it on there, the way that you like it, and you can dip your brush again if you need to. I usually can do a whole pop with one brush. But once I get that done, then I take my sanding block, this is a 220 sanding block, and I just blur the lines a little bit so it doesn't look quite so streaky. And it blends the stain and the paint all together. Now if you do this and you're like, oh my goodness, it's still a little too streaky, you can also take a damp rag and get off some of the paint with that because this is a water-based paint, you can kind of take a little bit off with a damp rag. Once you get it to where you're like, where I can't even talk. Once you get it to where you like, then you're ready for your next step. So we're gonna go ahead and put our molding over this hole and those modern cutouts and it fits nice and flush. I wanna make sure it's all the way up to the top and over. And I'm gonna use my brad nailer to nail it into place. You always wanna make sure that the nail is going with the grain of the wood so it doesn't split it and it's stronger. I'm using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint, and you can purchase this on my website, jamierayvintage.com. The color that I've mixed up is Flower Sack. It's one part milk paint to one part warm water, and then you shake or stir till it's mixed in. It should be like a melted milkshake consistency. Before you paint, if your surface is really shiny, you either want to lightly sand it to take off some of the shine, or you want to add Sweet Pickens Extra Bond, and that'll make sure that it doesn't all chip off. I wanted this to be kind of chippy in some places and not chippy in others, so I went ahead and sanded it, and then I didn't put any Extra Bond in my paint. That way we'll just see how chippy it gets. So I have my orbital sander, my 220 sandpaper, and I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out all my milk paint and then remove any milk paint that's chipping off and just give it a nice chippy distressed look all over the body. from modern and missing a drawer to farmhouse fresh. For all the paint that we use here today, go to jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.